it's sad because, you know, doing what Sean and I do with, with, um, counseling on hormones. Um, one of the recent stories I can share is actually I met the lady and she had her file of her hormone panel and she had been a nurse throughout her whole entire life. And her doctor wanted to put her on either an antipsychotic or an antidepressant. And, you know, when I talked to her, the problem was she's not sleeping. She's went through menopause and cannot sleep. I mean, can you imagine how exhausting that is? And then on top of it, you know, she's having to be a caretaker part-time for her husband. So here's the deal. Let's just make people zombies, right? Because that's the only answer we have for them. And she's like, no, I'm not depressed. I'm upset, but I'm not depressed, but I can't sleep. And I'm like, if she's telling me that, I'm sure she's telling her doctor that. But never once did they take any labs to look at what was happening with their hormones. And here was a woman who, prior to this, was very athletic, very sharp, you know, top of her game. And she's like, Janet, this is not, this is not a help. I need help and I'm not getting it. And that's so sad because then, like you said, first they come in, they listen to their doctor and then three or four drugs down the road. And they're getting worse and worse and worse. And it's really hard to be a part of that. I I don't blame you. I'm like, good for you. I'm glad you're out. No, and I love that you said that because it is, it's like a trigger effect. And then, you know, okay, we're hitting menopause. We're, we're shifting with hormones, not sleeping. Okay. Now cortisol's off now circadian rhythms off. So that's affecting estrogen levels. Estrogen levels are already decreasing. And if you're not doing things to nurture that you're looking at a plethora of other things, then people are getting joint aches and pains from their low estrogen. And then they're onboarding their, you know, 800 milligrams of ibuprofen every day. And it's like, it's just every single day watching it happen. And, just getting frustrated every single day. <laughs> and then and then they get GI problems, gastrointestinal mm-hmm. problems from the ibuprofen. So we put them on, on Prevacid or Prilosec for the rest of their life. It's just, it, it goes on and on and on. And 